grand rising to my king queen gods and goddesses is your boy terrible with one star you now i gotta hit them virgo summer rising north northern venus look disclaimer this is a general reading so if it resonates for you make sure you hit that like comment subscribe button if it don't resonate with you hey i try to do the best that i can i may not be the reader for you there's other readers around please Find one, not in a bad way, but in a good way. Now, with that basically being said, let's go on and rock her on out, Virgo. Now, Virgo, 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 it may be time for you to turn your dreams into reality. This is the title. So I feel like number three is dealing with dreams when I sit up and done the healing card deck. You know, like I always do, I got to do meditation before I get up in here. Spirit got to give me a line. But when it came to it, three may be representing, you may be trying to do some type of expansion, some type of growth, some type of teamwork for some. Some of you may be releasing, acceptance, moving up, and maybe et cetera. Not only that, dreams may be providing some important details or some important information that you may be manifesting right now. So that's why dreams may be important. Now, maybe a past member or an angel or somebody from the universe or divine angels are trying to send you a message now if you're not seeing this message take it as it resonate okay now listen to what i'm saying if you're not or if you're one of the ones who's not receiving a message or you cannot see them maybe you need to do some type of detox or some type of fast maybe you have to get rid of some some addictions or something you may be addicted to temporarily so you can get the visions of what you need okay now also pay up close attention to reoccurring dreams so if dreams keep coming around over and over again take the keywords write it down find out what it means go to a dream interpretation site so you can understand more clarity i know that's what i've done but now let's keep going also as well be uh you may be a uh, spirit woman to tell you be free with walking with the unknown it may be some things going on while you're going through this transition that you are almost out of out of for this new cycle right virgo so maybe while you being in the unknown you don't know how to act when it comes to new situations so with that basically being said you got to keep your level up your energy up to the point where you can start uh walking into this unknown up into the darkness because what people don't realize is you need dark in order to balance with the light as well vice versa yes i did say it exactly like that you need the dark just as well as the light and you need the light just as well as the dark now i'm glad you asked why now the reason because when it's too much light you cannot see when it's too much dark you still cannot see so if it's things are maybe blinding you or maybe too overwhelming in the light you cannot see where you're going because you are blinded now if it's too dark and your emotions are suppressed very very low you cannot grow and you'll be stuck in the soil that i like to say or stuck in a negative mindset when you be messed up and spaced out or whatever like that so please it's okay to walk in the unknown just remember, you need both of them. You need to balance your light, your good side of you, just as well as your dark. Feminine masculine. Oh, excuse me. Take it as it resonates. Now, here we go. The hard work you put in is paying off. So some of the old emotions is basically being washed away from some of you. And now uh, do not go back into giving in the old habit. These obstacles or this cycle that you may go through in the last part of this transition, you need to go through that while you conquer through this, okay? Don't make excuses. Do the work, Virgo. Don't take any shortcuts. Now, let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna hit the single ball twice today because we are uh, gonna get get to moving so you know we get our energy and vibration together so if you like everything hit that like comment subscribe button we got to get the viewers up okay this the channel help the channel so we can help others grow and heal as well with us okay here we go now exhale One more time. All right, let's go, Virgo. Now, Spirit God and the Universe, I just thank for everything that you do for every Virgo and Cross Watcher and people to come on this channel. This is timeless as well. Please give them the blueprint and understanding of what's going on. And please protect them over and give them the 
prosperity to achieve in life towards their highest good as well as the protection as well. Now, anything that no longer suits them, we banish that out. We don't want that around no longer, and we'll push that out forever and ever. Anything that's dark or harmful toward them, we send it back to Cinder. All right, Spirit Guys and the Universe, what do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus? What do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus? Right now, Virgo, I feel like everything that's going on with you, I feel like you may be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I also feel like you may be feeling some type of, you're not feeling the need of an emotional fulfillment right now, okay? Even though you are going through a new starting point, I feel like the energy that may be around you right now may be temporarily flat and stuck for you, or this can be some of the energies going on through a day by day. Even though you take an initiative and action uh, to go through this, Spirit is guiding you the right way. They sending you in charging, okay? So let's go ahead and let's rock out. Now, with the Ten of Cups basically being in reverse, again, it's still up and show Pisces, Cancer, uh, Scorpio type of energy. It also shows that you may be feeling disappointed or you may not lost a loved one to some of you or you may lost a relationship. It's something that you're feeling sad about that broke a, uh, a very emotional connection during out this cycle that you need to realize, okay? Because the cycle is almost complete. We just got to get see what's going on with your emotions. Now, even though you are creating this new starting point, some of you may be starting over, some of you may be starting new, some of you probably just got back uh, got back on your feet, some of you are just moving in this type of situation where everything is coming in new, all right? We also got wands. You know, uh, we got all energy around right now, so I'm gonna tell you right now, you could have this in your placement, but this is a little bit, I like to say an action. This is something like the Sagittarius Leo Aries energy, all right? So okay, now even though with this new starting point, this new this new place that you're going, this uh, this new type of creation, Spirit want me to tell you the challenge is you got to keep pushing on to what you got to do, Virgo. Okay, now whatever you are dreaming or whatever you pushing to get, you got to turn it in your in your reality. You cannot get bored. You cannot feel like you flat or stuck because we good at pushing things out, but we not great finishers. Okay, so this is the day that we're gonna change that and transmute that energy. We're gonna start healing people. We're gonna start healing ourselves first, and we're gonna no longer be stuck. We're gonna push in the pursuit with this night of night of source okay we're gonna have we're gonna have this overwhelming idea to push over and through this it may be some news coming in for some of you and um also maybe some type of warning but you need to think before you react okay this is the current energy that i'm feeling that's going on for some of you virgos spirit guys and the universe can we get clarification of what's going on with virgo some rising north node and venus i sure so yes virgo again now, here we go. Again, with this new starting point that you're going through, right? And remember, this new creation point. Even though it's a warning that's taking place, the reason why you're feeling the way that you feel like this is because with the Knight of Swords basically being in reverse, it's just letting us basically know that someone can't be trusted. Or I feel like it's some type of courage. So somebody's not, you may be not showing the courage. Or somebody not, uh, no. You're starting this new starting point, but you're failing to have the courage when it comes to this Ace of Swords basically being in reverse, okay? So I feel like you're getting frustrated because something you may be manifesting may be held back in the past. Something if it has created you to become stagnated or have some type of flat energy in what's going on, okay? And the reason why you're going through that because it's time for you to make some type of decision dealing with the judgment card. So you're making a decision, you're figuring out what's going on and what choice that you you want to take throughout life right and the reason why you're taking that you you want to take the calculated risk you want to be more carefree like whatever you manifesting you are manifesting something that's coming in full of abundance you want this joy you want to be take this leap of faith you want to be spontaneous you want to be adventurous in this action right so even though while you moving like this and you may be protecting yourself during during this mentally from this whatever this old type of emotional situation from. I feel like with the three of cups basically being in reverse, it was some type of disappointment again. They probably created health problems with some or some type of dis-ease while you being in a discord of a distance. But what happened is mentally after you broke out of that discord, you starting to see things more like it is. You are starting to lighten up. You already know rock bottom was the only place to go. So you are starting to progress and to see things to get away from this toxic energy, okay? 
or it may be something that's holding you back or something that you are holding on to that no longer okay. suits the purpose of you. So let's go ahead and figure out what's the message. Again, I, entrapment. Some of y'all is dodging entrapment. Somebody, somebody maybe had to put you in a situation where you felt like you were entrapped, but maybe this is your dreams that's what's going on as well. Maybe you feel like you're entrapping your manifestation and um, you also push it in the right way, but by you turning around having your mental level not in the same spot, it is creating some type of uh, entrapment. So I feel like you have from release from this, or it may have been somebody that you released from a burden from that who had you trapped in, okay? Now, not only that, love, your, love that you are there Different. I feel like you're not loving yourself. I feel like you're trying to fit in more with the crowd of people right now, Virgo. Or even if you're dreaming, you are probably having dreams where you're probably running towards a lot of people and are trying to find a certain individual or maybe trying to be around people and you can't find no people around in your dreams, okay? Take it as it resonates. So watch out for the key elements in your dreams also, Virgo, okay? But when it comes down to it, make sure you keep yourself more emotional, stable, the instability is not working, okay, Virgo? Spirit guys in the universe, what is the challenges for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus? I feel like you are finally accepting and releasing yourself with pain with the Three of Swords being the main type of energy. This gets some clarifications on it. Even though you've been going through this heartbreak, you must accept the pain. You must accept the release, Virgo, okay? So you got to get rid of some old energy and something that's not no longer suiting you. Okay, Virgo. And the reason why I say that, because what is challenging you is it's time for you to heal. It's time for you to put your prayers up in the air and let the universe do this for you. But I feel like you have not been doing that. Okay. And the reason why you probably haven't been doing it. Let's get one. Again, it's time to heal. You can't avoid it. It's time to heal. And you've seen the way how I've done this this time. It's time to heal. You know, I pick cards out randomly. You are going, Spirit wants you to trust in them. Trust into the divine. Make sure you put everything you got because you're getting guidance from above. You are healing and you are trusting yourself, okay? Or you need to. Not only that, don't be lazy about situations. Yes, it's close to my bedtime, but don't be lazy about situations. It's night when I'm doing this as well. So also another challenge, I feel like with the page of swords mentally, again, you got to have that enthusiasm for you to keep moving on and doing what you need to do, Virgo, okay? Even while you're doing that, you are still about having that new uh, that enthusiasm for your wish fulfillment, okay? That's what you need to start working on because you will be victorious in this. You will keep pushing on and moving the way that you need to go, okay? everything will come out fine. You will get the recognition and the clarity that's what's needed. If you put in hard work, do what you got to do, but maybe it's time for you to take a time out. Some of you may have been, may have been working too hard or maybe it's time for you to do some meditation and do some inner flow and some self-love, okay? Now, not only that, Spirit Woman also tell you what the challenges you may be facing. You got to say what you mean because you're really not saying what you mean. Or we can say it like this. Be cautious of what you say because it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Now, you can talk to a person and say what you mean indirectly. Because if you say what you mean, some people might not accept and understand the way how you're trying to say it, Virgo, because we are more parents when it comes to trying to perfect people or trying to show people our values because they don't understand that. We wish nothing but the best for them. But anyway, now, even though as you're accepting and releasing this pain, you need to protect your... Um, Yourself. You need to protect the wild and the green, right? You need to protect your inner sight. You need to be free a little bit. You need to go do some grounding. Go do some nature trails. Go do some nature walks. Go walk in the grass barefooted. Go do some lovable things because I feel like you're not grounding right now, Virgo. And I wonder, uh, and maybe the reason why you're not grounding because it's still dealing with what you're going through with this an emotional uh, instability from this pain that you've been releasing. Um, it's time to heal, baby. Spirit saying heal, and it's double clarification. Spirit guys ain't the universe. What else do we have for Virgo? So I'm going to rise and go Venus. What else do we have for Virgo? So I'm going to rise and go Venus. I'll share. 
So right now, I feel like Virgo, you is walking in your queen energy right now, and you could be dealing uh, with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could be dealing with all on this one. You could be having multiple partners, Virgo. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. The energy right now is not showing that because it's more about what you're dreaming and what you want. So here go the guidance. Even though you are seeking your wish fulfillment, right, with the Nine of Cups basically being upright, you're seeking everything that you need. Your wish is about to come to you. Feeling more, you want to need to live life more contently, okay, Virgo? You can no longer be thriving for attention or somebody may be around you thriving for attention or trying to cut some type of emotion. Not only that, it's some emotional instability. Be competitive with yourself, okay? Because Virgo, you got options all around the board, what's going on. So even what you're dreaming, you are manifesting options. So whatever you're dreaming is coming to reality. Some of you may be dreaming is having dreams of multiple parties. Some of you may be stuck in a situation where you want to get out of, and that's the only way you need to get out of it, okay? But Spirit will me tell you, it's time to stop making excuses, and it's time to get straight to the point. Start to be, time, be more analytical on what's going on around you. Not only that, not only being like that, you need to keep pushing as well, okay? Because again, now we got dreams. This is what I started off with first Virgo and it came back again. So again, back to the beginning, it's the dreams that you may need to be seeking, okay? Once you start seeking your dreams and start seeking your clarity in life and everything that's going on, and you cannot fear the unknown. This is pulled out again for me. I seen it earlier. You need to start fearing in the unknown and start walking into the light. We talked about this earlier, okay? Now, Virgo, with that basically being said, let's go ahead and pull one more. And right now, I think you may need to uh, work on Tahas Mudra. It is br uh, brilliance, number 25. Two, representing the decisions, representing duality, balance. Maybe you duality and changing, which creating the hard work. It's going to have to put some hard work in this, okay? Now, this will help you with your inner light, radiance, and focus. Now, direct breaths to the heart, chest, and ribs. It assists you in your immune system, and it also awakens and uplifts your energy. Now, bend the tooth index fingers slow. Well, excuse me. Let me say it correctly. Bend the two index fingers, softly touching them together. Bring the thumbs together. Ooh. Facing upward. Spread the other mudra in the front of the heart a few inches away from the body. Relax the elbows downward. Now, if you got heart condition and hypertension, use this with caution. Now, we also gonna focus on this. I embrace the radiant brilliance of my loving heart. I embrace the radiant brilliance of my loving heart. Well, all right, Virgo, this is your reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, North, Node, and Venus. Hey, if you like everything that resonated with you, please hit that like, comment, subscribe button. Shout out to everybody who's been getting readings lately. I love it, helping every single one of you. And thank you. It's a pleasure because out of all the readers, she chose me, and I'm glad it resonated with you. Hey, if it resonated with you, hit the like, comment, subscribe button. Become a new subscriber. Come come watch us. Come rock with us because every day we heal it. Energy change every day. So the closing of this would be peace, love, and light. Light, love, and peace. I love you. God love you. The universe love you. But make sure you love yourself. Until I see you to the next time, baby. Yep.